Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Lexi. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make some flourless oatmeal cookie bars. But I'm gonna need a couple extra things today to assist me in my video. Bring in my crutches. Yes, I am on crutches. So we'll see how this goes, baking with crutches. The nice thing about this recipe is that it's gluten-free, dairy-free, and egg-free. And it's still delicious. If you haven't done it yet, take this time to hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications when my next video gets posted. The first thing I'm gonna do for this recipe is take two bananas. The riper the bananas are, the better that your bars are gonna turn out and be. So we'll just put those right in the bowl. Next, what we're gonna do is take a masher and just start mashing up the bananas. You can use a whisk, a potato masher, a fork, a spoon, your hands, whatever you got. The nice thing about this recipe is that you can pretty much just throw all of your ingredients into the bowl. There's no right or wrong order to do it. Just make sure that you put the chocolate chips in last. Now I'm going to take a fourth a cup of maple syrup. Mine's from Trader Joe's. Love that store. This is gonna help for the sweetness of these cookie bars because there's no refined sugar in them So you just get the natural sugars from the maple syrup. Next I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of salt And then a teaspoon of vanilla it Smells so good For this recipe, I'm going to be using rolled oats or old-fashioned oats. You can use quick oats. The reason I'm using the rolled oats is because it gives your cookie bar a little bit of a chewier texture. And I love a good chewy cookie. I'm gonna do four cups of these oats. Do you ever have a problem getting peanut butter out of a measuring cup? Well, here's a trick. Spray it with a little bit of your non-sticking spray and it'll come out so easy. For this recipe, you can use your favorite nut butter. One cup of your favorite nut butter. I, however, like to do a mixture. So I'm going to do a half a cup of cashew butter followed by a half a cup of regular peanut butter. I just like how the combination of the two give the bar a different flavor. And now goes the peanut butter and the cashew butter. Comes out so nice because we sprayed the measuring cup. Now it's time to mix it all together. So we can't forget the most important part, chocolate chips. What's a cookie bar without chocolate chips? Not a cookie bar if you ask me. I'm using semi-sweet. You can use your favorite chocolate chip. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, a combination of them, whatever you like. So we're gonna do one cup chocolate chips. It's okay if it's a little over one cup. No harm in more chocolate chips, right? Now that we have all the ingredients mixed together, it's time to just get it in a pan. I'm gonna be using this eight by eight square baking dish. I sprayed it with non-stick cooking spray. Make sure you push it all down, level it out. Now our cookie bar is ready to go into the oven. It's gonna go in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so. Wish me luck getting it into the oven with crutches. Here goes nothing. No disaster, I got it in the oven. Crutches and all. Look at this. I can dance with my crutches. Do, 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 do. Well, now while it's baking, it's time for me to elevate my foot. Woo! I've gotten pretty good at letting my crutches crutch themselves when I need to. It is a workout, let me tell you. Cookie bars came out of the oven. Now we just have to let them cool, then we can taste test. I wanna know, what is your favorite dessert? 
make sure you leave a comment down below to let me know. If I can make these oatmeal cookie bars while on crutches, what's stopping you from making them at home? Now is my favorite part of the whole video. It's taste test time. Here we go. Mmm. It's very soft, nice and chewy from the oats. It's a perfect flourless oatmeal cookie bar. That's all the time I have for today. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Baking with Lexi. Now, before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up.